Hi and welcome back to my channel. My name is Ngosi Tsingo and if it's your first time tuning in, thank you for clicking to watch this video. So in today's video, it is a, as you've read the title of this video, it is a seven tips or tips, it could be more, could be less, depending on how I feel about it, but it's just tips on how to survive post-grad and by that I mainly mean honors level because i'm not yet in to master so i don't know much when it gets to that level but there are some just basic um tips to take and that will work towards you making it through so I, as i've said i have i have my honors as well so i've been part of post-grad so i'm speaking these things because i know them and i've been through it and i've experienced it so yeah you just understand that don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to my channel okay yeah thank you <laughs> let's get to it so the first pointer that you need to take into mind and take it to heart and take it with you basically i think also in life and everything that you do the first thing you must know and understand about post-grad if you are doing your third year and are planning to pursue your honors i must tell you that that you need to accept that things will get tough they will get tough but if you are like me and you believe in god just know that things will get tough but god is always tougher so just expect that things will take a toll on you but don't let them consume you that much to a point where you don't have a way to bounce back always know that god is bigger in every situation that you're in i'm saying this because i know it as well the, the the day that you're going to register just know you're signing up for flames <laughs> i'm telling you you're signing up for flames because the flames will burn all right but they'll not kill you secondly i really i really want to emphasize this one as much as i can i don't know how i can do that but i want to you to take yes take the first point as serious as it is but to this point will basically as you're signing up for those flames sign up for flames that you think you can basically handle so the second point is choose a research project that speaks to you what you are passionate about because i am assuming the reason why you took on the study you're doing is because it's what you like right and now when you get to honors you are choosing what to basically focus on you have quite a pool of choices so do what is right for you and remember that this is going to be a baby for the rest of the year and your third point is a supervisor most of the time um your research project already has someone linked to it meaning once you choose that project or that title by default the supervisor is for you but rather you do what you like and the supervisor is like a mess or you have a good supervisor and have a good research project title i mean that's a win that was for me i was I was blessed, okay? Like God went through before me and was just like, you know what? I'm gonna get you into a university that you don't know about, but you're gonna make the most out of it. You're gonna make connections. Guys, I cannot speak much about how my honor shame were. Not really bad, but bad, but there was just a blessing. Like I I get to it, sure. This video is full. I feel like I'm just too excited. I'd say it, it's something you can't really avoid right like if your supervisor is just someone who's just weird and by weird i mean it's just they're just bad vibes to you and they don't even check up on you on who's how far as much as they always say that you must check up on the supervisor i was blessed enough to have a person who's like how are you doing now okay i gave you a task yesterday how are you handling it and you tell them well, you know what this thing is difficult okay i'm trying and they'll be like no um try one two three so i had someone who was basically I'd say like a mentor at the same time because that was that was what my supervisor was and I had two supervisors so by the way I had two I had a co supervisor and I had a um, assisting one just the all things I, I want the best for you kind of vibe oh guys make sure that you get along with your supervisor I don't know how you can do this because I haven't been in that space where I don't get along with my supervisor so just try and remember why you're there try and focus I know people who have had supervisors so as i was saying um i know people who have had bad supervisors and they they went through the most guys i don't want i, I don't even know how i could explain it because i was not really like there in that process but i saw how it hurt them so i just wish that i'm praying that you get a good supervisor and that 
they 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 just they for you okay so i'm just here to tell you that if that's the case for you remember this video remember what i said that always pull from the good things that you have going on for you and i mean it's just for one year so and you can do you can make it through always try and ask the next person to help you you're not gonna get killed for asking for help that that topic is very really close to heart to me so i i really want the best for you guys and the next point is work hard from there onwards now that you have a supervisor now that you have a um title now that you know what you're in here for work hard you have no choice but to work hard if you don't work hard then your results will show or prove that you work hard and by that i mean you are going to go through the most and when those things come at you which is just general life in an honest level it's going to come at you and you also have your issues outside of school just try and make sure you work hard in one department so that if anything else collapses the other side at least you have other things that are intact that won't come crashing on you so make sure that you work hard and you put your total best because it will be worth it at the end point number six make time for social life i do not understand i do not get people who are always consumed with work like Nzanjani guys like i'm not saying that um just disregard your work like i just said work hard but remember make time for yourself you can't always be sitting on the laptop on the table working on your laptop researching reading reading writing it will kill you this one will kill you this one this one this one will kill you if you don't do it because and by mean by killing you i mean not not physically day you dead but sometimes i mean people people won't say it but yeah yeah so just it will kill inside it will kill you in terms of what you are missing out on making connections that is your chance to make connections you are on honest level you might be working the following year so you need to make sure you put yourself out there so how you do how, you, how can you do that if you're always in the library reading going back to your house sleeping going back to school you get me and one lucky thing i enjoyed about our department was that um on mondays we used to have like coffee and meeting days that's basically where everyone comes like your head of department your lecturers your other students your master students phd students literally everyone is there you have a meeting and then afterwards you socialize after that classes after that okay do if you go back home you're going back home if you don't have classes that day you don't have classes that day but it was a great way to start the week and just enjoy I mean, there are also societies now. I remember the first two months, which was Feb and March, we made the most. I remember the time where we had a class. Okay, I didn't have a class that day, but I had some work to do. But there were third year students, the final students had a had a, a um had a road trip or project trip that they had they had, they had to attend. They were like, "Do you guys want to take along?" I'm like, "What?" I'm definitely taking it along and it's like a new town to me. So how about just today exploring it in the fun way? I don't get how you guys survive without at least nyana lunch dates here and there. How go see young man that's in your show And then point number seven, if I'm not mistaken, make your room your peaceful space because that is where you gather your thoughts, that is where you sleep on your thoughts, that is where the first thing you do in the morning, you set your foot on that floor in that room. So make it your priority to make it a peaceful space. The last point, and I'm done, break a leg. All the best for the honors, you can do this. I did it, we did it, some of us, way before us people did it, and I know for a fact you're gonna do it as well. As long as you do all those things and probably also put in and chip in your ways of doing how you survived undergrad, please, please, please make the most out of it. Like I said, don't forget to make connections. This is your time to speak to your supervisor, to link you up with whatever uh, conferences that they have. If you can attend them, attend them. During your field work um, data collection, if you're doing that, make the most of the participants you never know one time you would need one of those participants one time they will need you you just never know make the most of that space and just just enjoy more than anything as much as we so, sometimes it will be very hard some days will be very challenging some days you just feel like i didn't do much accept that it's part of the process you will do it again the next day give it a shot to the next day always always do not dwell 
on what happened yesterday now make it your choice and priority that today must be better every day yesterday is past today is today let's focus on today and make the most out of it enjoy it it will be hard but enjoy it so and don't forget also as i said earlier on knock on those doors when you feel like you want some assistance and you feel like you just want some help or just in jail, if you like you are losing it always speak to someone always speak to someone i was so blessed again i had the most amazing roommate who umbilo you guys have seen umbilo on my one of my videos she was my housemate she was finishing her masters at the time and she literally she she got me through it guys by the way a point i forgot when you choose your project make sure that also your modules align to what you are doing but don't forget to chip in also your pointers on or if you are if you are a postgrad student currently tell me how you're finding things tell me how everything is going yeah and if you're doing a master's just share and also help someone in the comment section who is currently doing their honors and yeah what you learned and what you experienced and what you believe will be very vital that maybe i might have left out or just want to add what i said please do share some of your knowledge we need it and you never know who's out there and needs to be encouraged so yeah thank you for always watching and thank you for always watching till the end i uh, hope that you guys enjoy this i'll see you in my next video because definitely there will be a next video ciao bye